Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambulant Rejection. Technology gain times five, seven, and eight. This right here is our actually a $68 uh, Supreme, I hate $60 Supreme, but $68 uh, cheap projection screen that I purchased off eBay uh, for like around $68. That's including shipping. Um, it may change for those you may live in different states, I don't know. So uh, keep in mind, we are working on having our own form of projection screen, but for right now, uh, that's gonna be a little far off because like I said, it's very expensive to ship one of these screens. I mean, extremely expensive. So until we can get a better deal, um, we're not gonna basically do that. All right, so first things first, which I was supposed to do, kind of forgetting things I'm gonna be doing over here. I was supposed to plug this bad boy in and forgot. So let me plug this in right now. All right, grab the remote control that I have on the wall. All right, sorry about that. I was supposed to plug it in, completely forgot to plug in the screen. So this is the screen. Uh, already painted, dried, done, uh, using the uh, Supreme 7 screen paint, which we have over here. And in the demonstration, I will post at the bottom, it is the first demonstration part one, shows you how to paint the screen, how easy it is to do. Now, I prefer using screens, tension screens, because tension screens lay flat no matter what. Keep in mind when you use screens such like this, you will have a bit of a ripple effect in the screen, but it doesn't actually discourage the picture by too much, okay? So this is what you're seeing the lines or that's called the ripple effect in the screen. Now when you're using tension, tension does not have that problem. I'll post a demonstration of me painting a screen before and after of me using a tension screen in this video. All right, so first things first, let's get the frog tape off the screen. All right, so let's start with that first. As I said before, I like to use frog tape because it gives it that laser cut edge all the way around. Right there, see right there. All right. Let me get that all peeled off. Let's get the bottom area. All right, let me get a little more than this. There we go. Now let's get that other piece right here. Let me start it from up here at the top. I think that would be a little bit more easier to do. All right. Okay, and then let's get the very top part. And I've got tape stuck under my foot. All right, and we're done. And let me get the tape that's stuck under my foot out of here because I don't want to be walking through this through the video all right so it's all done it's finished voila so that's how easy it is to do very easy to do and as you can see we get that laser cut edge all the way across using the frog tape that's what I like to use so it looks professional you don't want to paint the entire screen because that's the I've seen people do that and that's the easy way out and it's not the easy way out but it's just a cheap way of doing it so let's roll our screen up. Now, one of the things about our technology, it basically does not leave a coating. Like, like I said, with some of these screen paints out here, they'll leave a thick coating on the screen, and that may become a problem for the projector when rolling it up or the motorized screen because there's an extra coating. Our technology is designed to bleed into the material, so it makes it easier for it to be able to um, to uh, blend in with the material without cracking or peeling. All right, sorry about that. Should adjust that a little better. I got this up here. I got to basically do a better job of setting this up. There we go. That's better. This is supposed to be mounted a little bit tighter. I didn't get a chance to mount it that tight. So this is just to show you the screen coming down. Now, as you see, there's no cracking, there's no peeling, there's no sticking, nothing. There we go. No cracking, 
cracking, no picking, no picking, no peeling at all. There you go. See, look, fantastic. All the way across, you can see there's nothing peeling. This is the beautiful thing about our technology. Like I said, it's designed to blend into the surface, designed to knit itself into the surface. So let's get our projector and turn it on. I'm gonna have to do the, uh, cause right now my screen, it has to, um, I have to adjust it a little bit on my projector. Yeah, I'm gonna have to tighten that up a little bit more on each side because right now I just have it hanging on two nails right now. So I'm gonna have to basically tighten it a little better. Now this right here is the inflatable screens. Like I said, this is customers' inflatable screens. I'll be doing those today. I should be doing those tomorrow, not today, but tomorrow to get these ready for shipping out. Um, sorry if you went on the website and you're trying to figure out how to get the screen. It is not, we're gonna have it available, trust me. It's just I've been overwhelmed with a lot of work over here, but it is gonna be done. So let me get this up a little bit. We have this fitting a little better in here. I'll get time to adjust it later. I bet you 100 bucks that giant ball of uh, sticky tape has got me right there in the side. So there you go. This is a cheap $68 um, white projection screen, motorized projection screen uh, that we purchased. And this is what our technology does to it. In a fully lit environment, you get that amazing looking contrast screen looks absolutely incredible look at the angle gain fully lit environment we don't have to hide from any light with this kind of technology and I'll also we'll be taking this screen outside because i'm going to be setting up a bracket system outside so i can take it outside and uh do a demonstration out there And this is what you can do with our technology. Keep in mind, you don't have to spend a ton of money for a high-end projection screen. And like I said, if you notice in my demonstrations, there's no dim lighting. You know, we don't have to go through any of that. And later on, I will use my um, 1100 lumen projector. And also, too, we'll take it outside because the screen paint is weatherproof. On top of that, it's designed to be used for indoor and outdoor use. So you're not just stuck inside. And this is being used on a 720p projector. That's it. Now, if you're curious how I painted the screen, please check out the link below. You'll get a chance. If you click on there, you'll see me painting the screen in and showing you how I use the frog tape, everything needed to actually get the screen, get that laser cut edge all the way across. Uh, later on, I will basically get to it. I'll 